as you may already know, Walt Disney World celebrates its 50 year anniversary in 2021. Made up of four different and unique parks, Disney World has something for everyone, young and old. For the past 31 years, Disney's Hollywood Studios has been the home to the resort's most immersive and also the most thrilling rides and attractions. When you visit the park, you step right into the action of your favourite films and TV shows, such as the Mickey Mouse shorts, Toy Story and Star Wars. What I love the most about Disney's Hollywood Studios is that it is continuously evolving. Over the past number of years, there's been some great additions to the park, including Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and of course the incredible Galaxy's Edge. These attractions, along with the overall atmosphere of the park, make Disney's Hollywood Studios one of the best in the world. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing 10 interesting facts that you may not know about the park. But before we get started, if you do enjoy watching this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you are new to the channel and you're feeling extra cheeky, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss a single thing because we make plenty of theme park and Disney related videos here at the KD Adventures, which you don't want to miss. So to start with at number 10, we have a fact that you may or may not know about, and that is that Disney's Hollywood Studios was originally going to be a pavilion at Epcot. Before Hollywood Studios, Disney World consisted of two parks, one being the Magic Kingdom and the other being Epcot. Well, our first fact is that Hollywood Studios wasn't actually going to be a park. The Great Movie Ride, which is a ride that is no longer with us, was an opening day ride at Hollywood Studios and was originally going to be an addition to the future world at Epcot. However, plans were changed when Universal decided to build their brand new park, Universal Studios. CEO at the time, Michael Eisner, decided to expand the design for the Great Movie Ride and make this into a completely new theme park. So even though it seems that Disney and Universal are a part of a big theme park war, if it wasn't for Universal Studios, then maybe Hollywood Studios wouldn't even exist. At number 9 we have a fact that I find very interesting, and that is that the Tower of Terror was actually struck by lightning. My favourite ride in the world, the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror has it all. Great theming, a great story, and an incredible ride experience. But what makes this ride even more amazing is something that happened during the construction of the ride, which makes the story even more special. So the story of a Twilight Zone Tower of Terror is that on October 31st, 1939, lightning struck the Hollywood Tower Hotel. Five people were inside the elevator at the time the building was struck, which caused the elevator to freefall. The five guests inside mysteriously disappeared, and when you take a visit to the Hollywood Tower Hotel, you too can experience what happened on that night as you enter the Twilight Zone. The story on its own is brilliant and has a great backstory to make the ride experience even more exciting. But what you may not know is that the Hollywood Tower Hotel actually got struck by lightning during construction. Not only that, it has been struck by lightning since. Of course with the stormy Florida weather, this may not come as a surprise, but the fact that the main part of the story actually happened is really cool and it really adds to the spookiness of the attraction. At number 8 we have a fact that you may or may not find interesting, but that is that at Hollywood Studios, the cast members use bikes to get around. It's a well known fact over in Magic Kingdom, underground tunnels are used for cast members to travel from one area to another. This is so that you'll never see a princess walking through Tomorrowland, or a character from the Frontierland walking through Adventureland. Well, in Hollywood Studios, they don't have these underground tunnels, so instead, cast members move around behind the scenes. Hollywood Studios may not be the biggest, but it's still big enough to make it difficult to move around from one area to another on foot. So instead, cast members tend to use bikes to move from one place to another behind the scenes. At number 7 we have a fact about the Chinese theatre, and that's that it was built using the blueprint from the original Chinese theatre. Since the park opened, Hollywood Studios has been the home to the replica of the Chinese theatre, which can be found in Hollywood. When it was decided that they would be bringing the replica to Hollywood Studios, Imagineers wanted this to be perfect. Therefore, they used the exact blueprint from 1927 to build the Chinese theatre exactly to scale. 
This means that if you visit the park, the Chinese theatre which you see will look identical to the real thing. This is one of the coolest facts about Hollywood Studios, and it really goes to show just how much work and effort the Imagineers put into everything they do. The Chinese theatre was once home to the Great Movie Ride, but if you visit the park today, you'll find the most recent ride to open, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. So just like the original Chinese theatre, on the outside you can find signatures, footprints and handprints from some of the biggest stars in the world, like Sylvester Stallone, Michael J. Fox and of course, Kermit the Frog. So for all you Star Wars fans, at number 6 we have a fact about Star Tours, and that is that it has 54 different ride experiences. We may now have the incredible Galaxy's Edge, but in 1989 Hollywood Studios was introduced to the first Star Wars attraction, Star Tours. Star Tours is a great simulator ride, which was amazing for its time. Many rides this old are usually replaced after this amount of time, so how has Star Tours lasted this long? Well that's because Star Tours not only updates all the time to keep up with the current characters and story, but it also has an incredible amount of endings. Star Tours has 54 different ride experiences, meaning if you're a regular visitor to the park, you still may not have experienced every ending. This is such a great idea, because with simulator rides, you can only ride so many times without getting bored. But with Star Tours, there's such a variety of experiences that you can ride again and again. So we may have Smuggler's Run and Rise of the Resistance now, but Star Tours is still a fantastic ride and a fan favourite for all the Star Wars fans. At number 5 we have a fact about Rock and Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith, and that is that even though the coaster is indoors, it was built outdoors. Rock and Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith is a classic and a fan favourite, being one of the most intense rides across all four parks and also the only ride that takes you upside down. Rock and Roller Coaster is definitely one for the thrill seekers. But what's interesting about Rock and Roller Coaster is the construction process. If you've been on or heard of the ride, you'll know that the coaster is located indoors, with the whole track being in complete darkness with flashing lights and scenery. But when building the track, it was actually built outside. Once the coaster was built, the building was then added to enclose the ride. This way of building the ride is also being used with Tron, the brand new ride coming to Magic Kingdom. Now although I don't know the specific reason the coaster is built in this way, I can imagine it so that the Imagineers could add in different parts of the ride and additional scenery, without being limited to a set amount of space. At number 4 we have a fact that you may or may not know about, and that is that Hollywood Studios is no longer an operating TV and film studio. So although the name of the park is Hollywood Studios, the park is not actually a film and TV studio. Originally, this was going to be the case. In fact, at one point, this was the case. Along with TV and film production facilities, some classic Disney films were created at Hollywood Studios in the animation studio. But over time, as more rides and attractions have been added to the park, these production facilities have been removed and the sound stages have been used for these newer attractions and also for guest use. Although it would be cool to have films and TV shows recorded at the park, with such immersive attractions like Galaxy's Edge and Toy Story Land, this probably isn't a possibility anymore. At number 3 we have another Star Wars fact, and that is that props from The Mandalorian can be found at Galaxy's Edge. Ever since Disney Plus came out, it's been one of the most popular streaming services. You can watch all the classic films on there, as well as some of the more recent films. You can also watch a bunch of new and old Disney series. But one of the most popular series on Disney Plus is The Mandalorian. Star Wars fans love The Mandalorian, and although the most recent trilogy has now come to an end, The Mandalorian keeps the franchise going. And if you visit Hollywood Studios, you can actually find a prop from the series. Inside Galaxy's Edge, you will find a blue and grey X-Wing near the exit of Rise of the Resistance. Well, this was used in the series during a short sequence in Series 1, Episode 6. This is really cool if you're a Star Wars fan. Along with that, there are also props in the Star Wars film Solo at Hollywood Studios too. So our next fact is that Disney's Hollywood Studios is the second smallest park out of all four Disney World parks. It may be the home to Toy Story Land, Galaxy's Edge, Sunset Boulevard and more, but Hollywood Studios is still the second smallest Disney park out of the four. 
This shows you the scale of how big Animal Kingdom and Epcot are. Hollywood Studios covers 135 acres, whereas Animal Kingdom covers an incredible 540 acres. That's exactly four times the size of Hollywood Studios. In fact, there's a bunch of other interesting facts about Animal Kingdom, which we'll cover in a future video. Hollywood Studios is very close to being the smallest of all four parks, but Magic Kingdom just beats it being 110 acres. With new areas being added to the park, maybe one day Hollywood Studios will beat Epcot, but that may be difficult as Epcot is over double the size at 300 acres. It may be one of the smallest, but Hollywood Studios packs a bunch of the biggest and best rides and attractions into the park. And finally at number one, we have a fact that is pretty sad, and that is that there is no remaining opening day attractions at Hollywood Studios. Finally, let's talk about opening day attractions, or in fact the amount of opening day attractions at the park, that being zero. There is not one attraction left at the park that was there when it opened back in 1989. The final attraction to be removed was the Great Movie Ride, which was replaced recently by Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Don't get me wrong, this is quite sad as all the history has now been removed, but to stay up to date, parks need to keep moving forward and bringing in bigger and better rides and attractions. Although the Great Movie Ride was loved, if you've seen or experienced it, you've got to admit that Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is more advanced and uses up to date technology to make a great ride experience. And of course, even though it didn't replace any existing rides, Rides of the Resistance is one of the most technologically advanced rides on the planet. Hollywood Studios is always updating, making it one of the most up-to-date parks out there even though it has now been open for 31 years. And I'm sure as time goes on, it will keep growing and evolving as new movies and shows are released. So there we have it, those are 10 lesser known facts about Disney's Hollywood Studios. Did I miss any? Let me know down in the comments below. Recently I've done a video covering lesser known facts about Universal Studios, so I'll leave a link down in the description below to where you can check that video out. I'm planning on making more of these lesser known facts videos in future, so stay tuned for all those. But that's it for this video, I really hope you enjoyed it, so thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.